Ladies and gentlemen, uh, welcome to the Rogers Kaka Sungura YouTube. People have been asking me, Kaka, where do you take your charity work? Charity work is there. I saw so many people have started complaining on this platform that, yo, Kaka, now you're mixing uh, cha charity. I don't know what I stopped. But I'm doing charity in my other channel. So charity, like now tomorrow, kuna manafunzi napeleka nyabururu national school a total orphan. Mwenye alifanya mtieni ya kapata 348 marks. So, charity ni naendelea na sijawai wacha. Iko active. Those who follow me in my Bosongo Vibes Network YouTube channel, munaona kazi tunachapa pale. But on this platform, nili hold kidogo kwa sababu I saw watu wameanza kukomplain. And uh, I respect your opinions because you are my employers. Back to politics. Kaka, it's my responsibility to keep teaching you on some issues, some of them maybe you might not have a clue on or you might not understand. Kenyan politics are complex. That is why we have so many commentators who are analyzing Kenya's politics. Others get it wrong, others get it right, others do guesswork. But I thank God because I've never done guesswork. God has given me uh, a spirit of discernment. I'm able to see things in the future. And that is what I've... Like now, I'm not bragging, but tell me. In the current Kenya Kwanzaa government, what has happened that I never told you even before an election? Not even one. The high cost of living, I predicted. The high cost of well, I, pro I gave you even a projection up to 2025. The Kenyan shooting against the US dollar, I told you, Kitambo. Hustlers crying the high cost of uh, education. I had warned even before Ruto came to office. Anyway, there's something I want to tell you. Ruto is a failing president. And I'm proud to say that. Right? And I have no apologies to make. That is my personal opinion. And constitutionally, I am allowed to make personal opinions because that is my constitutional right. William Ruto is a not even a failing or will be Ruto is already a failed president. I'm sorry to say he might be used in the books of history as an example of not how to govern a country. Those are Peter facts and you can't change them. Because I remember, I'm going, to, I'm going to argue my case. I have points here. I'm going to argue my case why I think so. Ruto is already in Japan doing nothing. He hosted the Poland president in the morning just for tea and entertainment, doing nothing. At he seeking jobs abroad, who has ever applied and won? Who has ever been employed abroad? Since Ruto started looking for those jobs. Now, ladies and gentlemen, Ruto said Uhuru Kenyatta is a dynasty and does not understand the hustlers. That was the narrative during the general election, during the campaigns. That was the narrative. At your Uhuru Kenyatta, eh, hey, hey, Nitajiri, Hailewi. Shida za mahasala. Uhuru Kenyatta You know Ruto made it made hustlers to see him as the new savior. Right? Why he painted himself as an hustler so he camouflaged and said, I'm the one, because I'm from a hustler background, I'm the one who understands the problems hustler are going through. Uhuru can't understand because he's a royal family. He's a son of the president. He has never slept hungry. He has never stepped down. He has never known what sleeping hungry is. That is what he sold to Kenyans. And Kenyans believed him. Kenyans believed Ruto 
who just came from a university class into state house convinced Kenyans that he was a chicken seller. And Kenyans believed it. Anyway. Ruto said he has slept hungry so many times, not once, not twice. Now he said he is the one who understands the hustlers better. By the end of this video, I want you to understand why Ruto is a failed president. So Wakenya Wakaun, a savior is coming, the Messiah, the deputy Jesus, a prince of peace, a healer, a converter of our problems. That's what they saw. Boda Boda saw Ruto as deputy Jesus. Mama Boga saw Ruto as the one who will die on the cross for their sins. Watu ya mkokoteni na wili baro wakaona ruto as the one who will die on the cross for them to be redeemed from selling water and, uh, and, uh, and pulling the cats. <coughs> ruto said he has an assignment. I remember one statement he made akasema. I am on a mission. I'm a man on a mission. I am a man on assignment. And my assignment is as follows. One, to lower the cost of living, especially the cost of fuel, the cost of hunger, and the cost of fertilizer, even the cost of internet, and even the cost of airtime on mobile phones. That was Ruto's assignment. That's, I am a man on a mission. And my mission is kuleta bei ya gharama ya maisha chini. Kurudisha bei ya mafuta chini. Eh, chini. That was Ruto's assignment. He was to stabilize an economy. That was his assignment because according to him, Raila and Uhuru had ruined our economy. Ruto said and vote the Bible in church. He said, as the president, I will never borrow. I will never push Kenya into a debt. So, borrowing dies with the Uhuru regime. My administration will never borrow any money kutoka kwa wazungu. That's what he said. I want you to see I want you to understand why Ruto will be used as an example of a failed president. In the classes of political science, students will be given a case study of Kenya. They will be given a case study of William Ruto on how not to govern a country. Anyway. Now. Because Ruta has failed to do all this. Because Ruta has failed on his assignment. Because Ruta has failed on his mission. Wakati yona alitumwa na mungu aende ni never kubiri njiri. Akakata. Na alipo panda meri kufika njiani akataka kubadilisha mwerekeo. Akamezo na samaki. Ruto is going to be swallowed. The assignment he told Kenyans is coming to do. He has diverted the route to, to different things. Hata yuko kwele assignment yaliambia wa Kenya. Because he has failed on this. Now, the song is, he lowers the cost of hunger, he increases the cost of fuel. He lowers the cost of fuel, he increases the cost of tokens. He lowers the cost of fertilizer, he increases tax deductions. He lowers the cost of tokens, he increases the expressway cost. Danny, a failed state. Ruta na wajasa, mchaso ya karata. Hide and seek. Anajifika kwa stima kidogo, anapunguza. Anarudi kwa mafuta, anaongeza kidogo. Halafu anaingia anasema, eh, hey, 
si tumepunguza bei ya ya ya, ya, ya fertilizer na mavuta iko wapi up na toka ni ziko wapi akirudi kwa mafuta anarudisha shilingi tano chini akipita nyuma kwa tax anaongeza ingine. so anakuja wana sema eh si tumepunguza bei ya mavuta na hii mnaimba tu lakini hapa nyuma amewagonga tena kingine akirudisha bei ya fertilizer chini kesho nasikia the cost of token has increased by 10 shillings hide and seek it doesn't want to make profits it doesn't want to make losses akipunguza hii analeta hii juu so that ilipie hii so nyinyi mnafikiria amepunguza kumbe iko maneno ingine wanafanya mahali kingine as we speak Ruth has borrowed the highest compared to other presidents since moi Ruta has borrowed paka amepita imeenda economy alisema ta stabilize hii US dollar imeenda sijui ni wapi a failed state a failed president a failed governance but anyway kaka that is your president mimi sina mengi i wish you the very best santeni sana god bless you ruta akasema sita boro he is borrowing the highest Alisema I will not travel he is traveling the most Akasema mimi hasla watapata nafasi kwa serikali has never appointed even one Boda boda mama mboga wanalia he has never appointed even one Akisema bei ya unga ni chini mafuta chini ya kuoko juu kila siku Maana nizidi kupanda anyway God bless you, ladies and gentlemen. See you in the next video. Asante ni sana. Mungu wa bariki.